Merry meet everyone, my name is Maya, but you can also call me Kitty Moon, and you're now watching My Pagan Life. Today, I will be talking to you guys about my eclectic path. My first video on my path was about my solitary path and why I follow the Wiccan Reed and the Threefold Law. The reason as to why I talked about that first is because the solitary part of my path is what really defines what my path is. But I have told you guys that I'm an eclectic witch and I'm going to tell you guys today why I am an eclectic witch and what my practice as an eclectic is. First off, I'm gonna tell you the reason as to why I'm eclectic and the real reason for that is because I find it hard to learn about other traditions such as, for example, Gardenarian Wicca or, tra or basically traditional Wicca or maybe Dianic Wicca and all these other traditions because well, there aren't any specific learning courses on the internet, and as I said in my previous video about my path, the main reason as to why I'm solitary is because I live in a country where I can't learn about Wicca in a community physically, so I've learned everything from the internet, simply because I live in a country where the Wiccan community is really, 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 really small. I did take a year and a day in magic course, however, done by Universal Pagan Temple, and that course was based on, I bet it was British traditional Wicca. So that is a part of my eclectic path. But what does my eclectic path consist of? My path consists of British traditional Wicca, solitary Wicca, and the last thing that my path consists of is shamanic Wicca. Now you may or may not ask the question, is that it? Because if you're eclectic, you will usually pull in from a lot of other different things. But I'm gonna tell you something. I think that being eclectic can be a good thing, as long as there are some limits. Because, I mean, eclectic Wicca is growing and growing and growing simply because it gives people the freedom to choose whatever they want. And that's good for people, right? They can choose absolutely whatever they feel like. But my opinion on it is that if you choose way too much, if you add way too much, it just becomes a sort of hodgepodge of something that is your own creation. Now maybe that's kind of the point of Eclectic Wicca, that you're supposed to like make something that makes you feel good. But what I see to be the weakness of the Wiccan community is that we're not a community anymore in the sense that we don't believe in the same things. I can't go to another Wiccan who has the exact same belief as me and ask for advice on these specific areas because they don't believe the same as me. We're not all like intertwined anymore in that sense. We're more like under this umbrella together, but we're all walking completely separate. So we have like these few basic things in common, but that's it. And that can be good, but it can also be bad for a variety of different reasons. But what the heck am I talking about? I'm supposed to talk about my path today, aren't I? Mm, yeah, yeah, basically. So the solitary part of my path is basically what it sounds like. I don't practice with anyone. I have been taught by people who teach British traditional Wicca, which obviously is a lot of different things as far as I'm concerned. So that's like the basis for my practice. It's not like a huge part of my practice, but it's like the basis. And then you have the shamanic Wicca part. Now the the thing is that shamanism isn't really referred to as a religion. Shamanism is defined more as a tradition and a spirituality. So therefore, I'm not really pulling from any specific set of beliefs. But what I am pulling from shamanic wicca is the practice of spirit animals. And that is the really, that's really the only really, really specific thing I pick. You know, other than that, my path doesn't consist of anything specific. I try to keep my path as neutral as possible so that it doesn't become a whole loads of different things. But the main reason as to why I'm keeping my path as neutral as possible is because that I define myself as a Wiccan. I am a pagan, basically, because Wiccan comes under the term paganism or pagan. And therefore, when I define myself as a Wiccan, I want to kind of stick to what's Wicca. I actually watched one of Blue Sage's videos once where he actually mentioned that and it came across my mind. I've always known, 
but I suddenly, it just suddenly came up to me, like, yeah, I mean, we're defining ourselves as pagans, we're defining ourselves as Wiccans, or, yeah, not everyone is Wiccan, but if you're a Wiccan, you're a pagan. Y yeah, we get it, okay? Then we might want to stick to what is Wicca and not pull in from all of these other different religions, Simply because, I mean, we ha we're we trying to stick to what we are, aren't we? Because to me, when we pull in from too many different things, it becomes like, okay, what defines me as a Norwegian? Well, I am born in Norway, I have grown up in Norway, I speak fluent Norwegian, as all other Norwegians do, and so on and so forth. So, I'm Norwegian. But I'm a little bit Japanese too, because I really, really like Japanese culture, and I like Japanese food, and I'm also a little bit Chinese actually, because I've lived in China for three years, and I love Chinese food, and I know a lot about Chinese culture, and all these different things. I'm not trying to bash anyone right now, this is my opinion, and my videos are really my opinions. But these are my thoughts, if you have different thoughts, or if you have the same thoughts, comment down below. I'm not gonna keep you much longer, because this video is starting to get long, but anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video, like, comment, and subscribe for <clears throat> videos every week on Paganism, Wicca, and Witchcraft. Other than that, thanks again for watching this video, and blessed be until next time. Bye!